Big news this morning. We're going to start with this. A caravan of Central American migrants traveling for more than a month is at the U.S.-Mexico border trying to cross. U.S. officials are trying to keep the group of nearly 200 people out. They want asylum, but have not been allowed to start the application process. Customs and Border Protection officials say the San Diego port of entry is already full. President Trump vows to stop the caravan, which has become a flashpoint in the immigration debate. Maria Villarreal is just across the border in Tijuana, Mexico. Maria, good morning. Well, good morning. The U.S. port of entry is about 100 feet right behind me over here. Between here and there are rows of migrants. They are choosing to sleep on the cold, hard floor. We're talking about families with young children and mothers. They have decided to camp out here because they want to be the first in line tomorrow morning when the doors open so they can seek asylum from the U.S. They have been told that this process can take several days and there are no guarantees they will get in. A showdown at the border as the caravan of Central Americans attempted to cross into the United States Sunday. Some climbed the border wall but didn't cross over to draw attention to their ultimate goal of asylum. Nearly 200 people lined up to approach the port. Maylene Charlotte Prado is from Honduras and applying for protection because of daily violence in her country. The truth is there's too much violence. There are daily killings and violations of human rights. At one point, the group swelled to around 1,000 people as they made their way north from Central America through Mexico to Tijuana. Along the way, they crammed onto trains and buses with the few belongings they could carry. The caravan is now down to around 200 people, many traveling with children. Watch the caravan. Watch how sad and, and terrible it is. President Trump has warned they will not be allowed in the U.S. I call them the dumbest immigration laws anywhere on earth. If a person puts their foot over the line, we have to take them into our country. Lawyers are telling them what to say. Immigration lawyers deny they are coaching the migrants. On the U.S. side of the border Sunday, dozens gathered to show their support for the refugees. We have, I think, a legal obligation to at least hear these claims of asylum. Um, so the way that he's used the caravan to stir up um, anger, hatred, and racism in the far right, um, it's, it's concerning and it's offensive. Several border, pool agent, border Patrol agents say that there were people who actually crossed the border illegally that were associated with the caravan by climbing over a metal scrap wall. For the people, though, that are here and are waiting, we know that several of them have been given white armbands to wear. These are the people that have met with the immigration attorneys. They feel they have good cases for seeking asylum, and they are asking that those cases take priority when the doors open later this morning. John? So, Maria, what exactly happens next for those people who are waiting in line? Well, for the people that are waiting right now, they have to choose or show that there is a credible fear of returning to their home country. They have to show this and prove this to it. an asylum agent, also to an immigration judge. Uh, about three quarters of the cases that do that actually make it through this process. If they do, some of them will go to a detention facility. Uh, they could be possibly separated from their families during that process. Others of them are allowed to actually stay with family in the United States. They are given ankle monitors so that they can uh, watch over over them while they are in the United States. Uh, all of this is happening while they wait to see an immigration judge, and that could take several months before that actually happens. Very long road ahead. Maria Virial, thanks so much in Tijuana. Thank you.